In this video, we'll be taking a look at a few different ways to convert a model from ZBrush into a BREP CAD file by using the reverse engineering tools in Cyborg 3D as well as the ZRemesher tool inside of ZBrush. The first is just a basic conversion using an exported ZBrush file. We start by importing the file to Cyborg 3D, quad wrapping it, and shrink wrapping it. We now select end editing, and in the conversion tab, we select sub D to BREP. This is the simplest conversion method, but also results in the largest number of surfaces on the resulting BREP. The other two methods both involve using the ZRemesher tool in ZBrush. Once we open ZBrush and have our model up, we start by duplicating it. We then go to the Geometry tab and select the ZRemesher tool. I use the default settings for ZRemesher and it output these polygons. I now use the Divide command. For this next method, I went with the subdivision level of 4 which outputs a similar number of polygons to the original. This allows me to capture the highest amount of detail when we move to the next step in Cyborg 3D. Now use the Project All tool to capture all the detail on the original model. I set the distance to 0.5 here. We can now export our model so we can use it in Cyborg 3D. We can now import our model from ZBrush into Cyborg as a sub-D. Because of the density of polygons in the model we exported from ZBrush, all we have to do here is convert to BREP. We can set the subdivision levels to zero here. As you can see, by using the ZRemesher tool, we significantly reduce the number of faces. For this next method, I went back into ZBrush and decreased the number of subdivisions a few levels to create a less dense mesh of faces. I now import this less dense mesh as a sub-D. Next, I import our original ZBrush model as a mesh. Now use Fence Select to select both of the models. We can now use the assign re mesh command to use the sub D that we imported as a quad wrap. We can now fence select all the vertices and then constrain them to the mesh. Now we use the shrink wrap. Make sure to uncheck curvature grouping to avoid creating any unnecessary surfaces on the BREP. We can now select end editing and convert to BREP. We can see that this method, while requiring the largest number of steps, results in a much lower surface count than the normal conversion without having to sacrifice any of the detail. Here's a comparison between the method we just did, just using ZRemesher, and the standard conversion. Thanks for watching. For additional information, visit our website at npowersoftware.com.